the White Sox and here he is 10 months and one day later delivering a first pitch low to Tony Kemp ball. They came in Wednesday night with the off day on Thursday as Lance delivers and a ground ball fouls one and one Kyle Tucker in right field. That one almost hits Tony Kemp with a curveball and it's a lot of extra adrenaline here for that first inning back. He said in many ways this much on a set schedule this had a lot more uncertainty to it as he dealt with body and that arm's going to react. That one punched towards the left field line long run for Mancini gets tested five games between 2017 and 2019 in the left field and that ball is ripped down the line and left and Mancini will have to go get this one as Elvis Andrews who didn't play that lead by a little bit with yeah, Seager sure and Beltre behind him. Oh foul to play at 0 and 1. Lowest home runs per nine ratio in the American League last year. Lance is coming off the season. A lot of people forget. That ball the other way. Snagged by Bregman who has Andrews hung up. And he will flip it. Andrews is in some. <laughs> this day and age of replay and all the cameras. You can't be doing stuff like that. Pitch wide, one and one. So on this Hall of Fame, and what he did, especially in that 1980 season. That one's fouled out of play. It'll be one and two. Going a little wide, two and two. Pitches tonight. Wow! Didn't give it to him. That was a good pitch. Alfonso. There, Lance Freezing of both 1980 and 1986, a combined 545 batting average, including hitting 520. C. Pole joins us in the booth. First of all, congratulations. How are you doing? Thank you, Todd. Thank congratulations. you. Congratulations. Really good to see you. Great to be with you guys. Great. Listen to you. All. 526 isn't a bad average, <laughs> huh? You know, you go through times when uh, you know the ball looks so big, you're getting good pitches, which made them throw the ball over the plate. Eddie Wade was in attendance today and he was a former Astros GM as well as Philly GM. Chicheo hitting behind you. Twelve and a half of your 14 years were together? That's correct. Wow. Uh, yeah, he lockered like about three. Uh, made the change over there. I, but we were in Chicago Cubs uh, playing one time and I was playing center field that year. Ball, and I was literally shaking and I caught the ball and I said, and I got after him. I said, Chael, don't you ever speak Spanish out here again. Era, and we had tell, we had Tell Smith on yesterday, but he built that ball club to go out there and play great defense. Right. Talk a little bit about that roster and how much fun it was to be on that chance. What you said, then then we came into the 80s and uh, you know our pitching staff, <laughs> I mean, it was nasty. <laughs> it was. You, you, Series, I think, in the history of the game. That was that, that four extra inning games. Four extra in and one uh, decided in the ninth. Uh, wow. But, yeah. And they went it in Hollywood fashion every night. You know, in the ninth yeah. inning, you know, some home run, you know, somebody else. Goes, and then, of course, we have you. Lance McCullers, after a fly out, has issued a walk to Stephen Vogt. And now Vimeo Machine Ooh. taking a strike. It's 0 and 2. For 16 uh, years. And uh, I got a lot of players here tonight. They're all, all scattered all over the dugout. I mean, all over the, ball, the ballpark. And uh, so it's Terry Poole on the air about Cesar Cedeno. We got to pass along. That story, he said he was, Cesar was so good to him. Yeah, he, he was talking to him. enough room to my left. He said that that guy was probably the best athlete he's ever played with. Well, just say, that's what we've always heard about. So much more impressive. What a great guy. I, I hadn't gotten to know Terry Poole much. I could hang out with him for a little bit, I think. What a. All right, so Julia's heading up to the suites where all the Astros legends are. Stevenson batting ninth, getting a chance to play center field again. Grounds this one just foul. It's one one. Jays to the Astros. Then dealt in the offseason at Tampa Bay. It's two and one to count to Stevenson. A couple of strikeouts. One hit and one walk allowed. That's a strike, two and two. Couldn't drop that on the out. Just in. Lance tried to dot up the inside corner. Walk. And the first pitch wide, ball one. Most everything strikeouts, wins. 
coming off his finest year this year as defense behind him, but he also has that ability when things are right to go get the swing and miss with his spin. That's what makes him so valuable. Reason the Astros had him on four days rest last time is the as a 2 2 count on his buddy Tony Kemp. And that's off the plate, three and two. 11 sinkers and seven changeups. There goes the runner. The pitch is a strike. The throw by Machete. He is out at second base. Andrews, who has been trouble for Lance in his career, doubled on one pitch his first time up. Andrews McCullers. That one picks up the outside edge, one and one. That one's in the air, playable for Kyle Tucker, who moves towards the line. And Lene's great numbers in his career here at Minute Maid Park. Seth Brown showing bunt, pulling back. That one drops below the zone. Lance facing Oakland tonight if you stay it's Friday. On the ground towards Altuve in the shift. Jose makes the play. Brown the best of the best inside this stadium are all here tonight. Sean Murphy. Chicago right now, Blummer, if everything stays lined up, it looks like Tuesday night it's going to be Justin Verlander against Dylan C. Ready to go because that's going to be a should be a very good pitcher's duel. Between Definitely. two guys having great years, Dylan ceases Burby, but he still has the best DRA in all of baseball. That's a nice pitch on three and zero, making sure he poured over a strike. That one's up and in, ball four. That'll be the third walk allowed. Lance. Oriano takes one inside for a ball one. And And popped high in the air. Jose Altuve will make the call and the catch to finish off. What I did was just trying to place him in the right spot and how to play each and every guy. So, a defense player. So were you. So was Cheo. I can't even imagine you three playing together. I didn't get to watch you guys, but how much fun was it? What do you, what do you remember about those teams, that era? What made you guys so special? The togetherness. That togetherness uh, about just how great of a player you are. What are you most proud of of your career? Um, I, I, I guess the fact of my defense, uh, but my defense was probably the most uh, thing that I take pride on. A lot of fun. And I, I want to ask you about this team. You tell me you watch every night. So what do you think of these guys? We just uh, off camera. Uh, he doesn't say much, but 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 his his work showed that he is uh, what this weekend and, and a day like this is like for you. this was outstanding uh, um, I wouldn't miss him for the world I was having a problem and, uh, I, I like to once again but con congratulate them and welcome to the team there you go there you go and your orange ridiculously good that's all we ever hear from his teammates is how good of an athlete he often says they remind him of Cesar Cedeno yep strike three called Lance McCullers Jr. staying there holding his ground and you're right, TK. Once he catches that ball, he puts his nose in on that play and goes and gets that runner to make sure he gets that out. A lot of guys not being afraid of the contact. I see a lot of middle infielders who like the swipe tag or like to play. He gets right into it. Good to see from Jeremy Pena, who is continuing to his third time through the lineup. Falling behind Kemp here, three and one. So we're going to say he's throwing a cutter, or we're going to have to ask him afterwards. Yeah, we'll have to check in with him. He's done a great job all season long. Is he leading all catchers or just American League? AL. Nice. So you've got Aldi tonight caught his ninth runner of the year. Elvis Andrews with an O catchers to choose from. Lance working with Martin in his first start of the year. Is that pitch low? 
Swing and a foul tip caught by Maldonado. And nice job by Maldi too, getting that ball. Good job of reaching out there, go get it. Or it hit. Lance has two double plays behind him tonight. One on the ground. Here's a ground ball. Could be another 6-5-3. Bregman the turn. 